Hi everybody, welcome back. Welcome if this is your first time here. Uh, I'm making a wreath. Hope you guys are happy. Don't want to make a wreath, but I'm going to make a wreath. Um, I have a 20 inch non-lit basic wreath. Um, these are like $3.98 this year. I remember when they were $2.98. I think I still have some when they were $2.98, but you know, at least they're the same size as they always were. This is just a pretty crappy wreath. Like, let's be honest, I don't know who's buying this and just putting this on their door, but maybe they are. It's also really flat, so let's fluff it out and see how it looks. All right, so that's all fluffed out. Don't have to do a great job. We're going to cover basically all of this up. I have this Santa that I got. Oh, I had two of them, and I was like, I don't know where the other one is. And I, I found it after I had already picked out all the stuff to use this one. So he was $20. Um, I think I paid 5 for him because there were like a 1,000 of them last Christmas. And he's, he's pretty large. But he's got like little, got a little sack. Um, he's given Alpine. He's given Scandinavia. Uh, but see, he's too big for this wreath. But you can just take this wreath. Ugh. And now we have an oval. Look at that. You learn something new every day. If you pull in a circle hard enough, it turns into an oval. And he's still kind of big for this, but... You know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to kind of mash him in there. And then how are we going to attach him? Hmm. Don't pay attention to any of this stuff over here, y'all. I have too much going on for me to completely clean this table twice a week. Okay. Let's see. I think if I can... Work... I just saw my big needle. Oh no, did I pick my big needle up? Here it is. The alarm on my dryer just went off. I don't ever set that alarm. Okay. This is, um, I think this is, this is like, they sell these, they're probably doll making needles at Walmart. I don't know what kind of dolls people are making with these long ass needles, but okay. But I'm just going to hook that around there. Come in, sever the spinal cord. Definitely. Just, you don't, yeah, there we go. Oh. The dog hair and the beard. I just think that adds a little authenticity to um, Christmas, so. All right, so I just have it going through his neck right there. And I'm basically just going to wire him on. Those big needles are very useful um, for... All sorts of things besides doll making. I don't know. I, is, is this technically a doll? Am I using the doll needle on a doll? And you... I just want him to get kind of in the general area where I want him to be. Like just kind of centered there and then if I need to pull him over, which it looks like I will. Um, oh, the spine is way down here. So, what are we going to do? Hmm. Give me a second here. Okay, I just grabbed some black pipe cleaners because those will be hidden a little bit better. Will you move, business? I know. Oh, you know what? I was trying to see, this, this body, y'all, underneath here, I am terrified of the of whoever's job it is. He's, he's, I don't know if he's supposed to be dented. That's like hollow body, um, but his boots do not feel hollow, so I can't, like, go through them. Can I? I mean, I could drill a hole, but I ain't trying to do all of that.
please forgive my stupid hands. Y'all know I have stupid hands. Anything? Get this through here. Okay, you go there. You come over this side. So, one's on the outside of the spine of the wreath. This one's on the inside. Is it? Yeah. I think he's in there pretty good, but... Let me just take another one of the white, because this spine is a lot closer, so I can kind of catch him around the back here, too. And I'm going to... There's, a, um, like, an armature. I'm going to go from the back... It'll let me... Around the armature. You just really want to get a, um... What is in here, Santa? What, what, is it working out? Oh my god. For me? Wow. So that's going around. Oh. Good thing I didn't pull before I got that through. Oh, what a, what a reason hell. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it, y'all. We did it. We did it, Joe! Right, I think he's pretty secure. Can you... Don't be afraid, y'all, to manhandle. He's like kind of sideways, but is that just the way he is? Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna push his and gigs. I can go completely around this arm because this little greenery right here is holding it. And this will probably help pull him more into the center. And wiring attachments in like this, it's 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 trial and error, y'all. Just just get them in there. It don't gotta be pretty. It's just gonna sit on Etsy for four years. I actually sold a wreath today, I shouldn't say that. I sold my nightmare before Christmas wreath, which I never thought would sell. And the woman who bought it said, I've been looking for a good nightmare before Christmas wreath forever. And I was like, Well, good on you. All right, and at this point, if you want, you can reshape this a little bit to get him more even. I think he looks pretty good. So, yeah, thanks for watching. No, can you imagine? Okay. I have a leftover roll of red and white deco mesh. Um, this is how I store my open rolls. This is um, a poop bag. You know, for when you gotta clean up poop after you let your dog out for three hours and then he comes inside and the back door's open the entire time you're in the kitchen doing stuff and he's outside the whole time and then he comes inside and craps on your floor and then you oh you wonder where you went wrong and you know I'm just cutting random pieces of this since I don't have a a set number of ties I don't know how many pieces I have. I just cut until the roll is gone. So let's do... I don't even know what this is called anymore. Woodland woodland ruffle? Just because I was not super precise about cutting those edges and let's just have them tied in. Fold it in. 
And I'm just going to go and put these around. I think I'm probably going to leave them more this way. I'll roll that in a couple times. Roll this in a couple times. So that looks good. I don't know how many I used. One, two, three, four, five, like 12. Um, let's get rid of him for a second. Can you go right here and not fall over? Probably not. Can you just go on the floor and try not to get peed on? I have two ribbons because that was what I could grab. And I was like, I don't even want to make a wreath, so I'm definitely not going to want to go dig through all my Christmas crap. If I'm not putting up a Christmas tree this year, if I don't get to celebrate Christmas this year, nobody gets to celebrate Christmas this year. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do like a... I don't know. 12-inch tail. And y'all, if this ribbon has a cut in it, a split in it, we done. 7-inch loop. Get out of there so I can see. Seven inch loop. Seven inch loop. Where are my good scissors at? Oh, they're right here. Um, and I think I'm going to have my tail come down here again, so. This is just, these are both Walmart ribbons, and they probably have, they seem to have these every year, so if you want them, that's what I got. Let's just bring these into six inches. This is just a three-loop bow. I think I have some ribbon somewhere that matches that Santa sweater quite well. Um... But again, all my I packed up all my ribbon when I stopped making wreaths, so um, I, I don't know where it's at. I'm pulling this tight. Twist the bow, not the wire. I'm going to keep that right there because I'll probably end up adding some ribbon somewhere else. Dovetail these.
but I like this um, Swiss dot ribbon because he's kind of got oh, he's kind of got dots on his sweater, doesn't he? Or did I imagine that? Yeah, he does. You just can't see him because there's so much crap on here now. All right, and I want my bow to go down here because that'll help disguise the boot um, where the pipe cleaner right there. I'm just doing a little pre-shaping of this. Oh, wow, I actually got that through in the first try. And it just came back up. I feel like when you're working on a evergreen base, it's, um, there's not as many, like, did you just have that central spine? Like when you're working on a wire frame, there's those three concentric circles and they make it a little easier to grab something. But with this, you kind of got to go for that fine. This one is like a foot and a half longer than the other one. They don't have to match, but maybe not such a large discrepancy would be nice. All right, and I think just to balance that down there, I'm gonna put just like a little half bow up here. He's be fat man. So I'm just gonna pinch that, twist it. It is it is November, y'all. It is too hot. It is it is it is too hot. Maybe that could be a little bit longer. And this can just go directly into one of the ties. And I always like to leave one of these tails longer. This ribbon will be even easier because it's like double-sided, but I still like the There you go. That was a, a much better a be, much better visual of how to do that instead of me being like... Mm -hmm. And again, that can just go right in the same tie. Oh, see? Almost did it again. If I cut it upside down and sideways and backwards. So that's a pretty simple wreath. And uh, my recording time, I don't know how long the video is going to be. That was a uh, 29 minutes. Um, so if you know how to like get pipe cleaners through things. Yours will probably go a little faster than that if you wanted to, but I'm going to add just a couple of little ornaments. 
Mostly because if I put the ornaments in, I don't have to go put them back in the box they came out of. And I don't have my glue pot. I'm not going to bother with that for a couple of ornaments. Just going to get some glue on there and shove those in wherever they seem like they might fit. And I have red and white. I have red and like this glittery white and green. I'm going to add the red and white ones first because... Um, I don't have any, like, I don't know why. So I have the hardest time finding green ornaments. But I'm like, well, I hope I never want to do a tree that's green because I can't, well, not that I ever do a tree anymore because I'm so emotionally traumatized. Um, my life in general. Like that limey color. Can you see it over here? This limey color is, like, everywhere, but actual, like, green green. You know, green, green. I'm just giving that one a second because I've got to hold it in place a little bit. What's another white? And these are just... I have a, a bin full of green ornaments, a bin full of red ornaments, and this is just like... I just pulled these out of... Uh, um, I, don't, I don't like that. I just pulled these out of a bin that has a little bit of everything in it. Like, there's gold and... Wait, do I have a... I think I have a gold bin somewhere. I got too much crap in this house, y'all. I need to burn it down for the insurance money. For the insurance I don't have. I need to get insurance and then burn it down. Out of my house catches on fire, they're going to be like, Well, you said in this YouTube video... Let's 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 make it let's make a decision about this. I kind of like the green. I mean, it gives it a little, you know, because he's all red and white. The ribbons are red and white. Got the black from the boots and a ribbon and a lantern. So let's just put let's just put these in. Let's let's just do it, y'all. Let's let's go ovaries to the wall. This does kind of miss, make me miss my glue pot. Just because if you get that glue at the perfect temperature, then you can just literally, literally, literally pop, plop. I feel like my blood sugar is low and I'm going to die in a second. You can literally just plop it down and it'll hold. Not that these are having a terrible time, but... We don't know that those are in there as good as they could be. I'm going to take this bigger one because I have a, a bigger one over there. This is a pretty shape. Onion kind of teardrop. And when you have ornaments like this that have a little point on them, like this one's going that way, this one's going that way. You don't want them all facing the same way. Because then everybody's going to laugh at you. You like him, Mama. He's a real nice boy. Any, anybody? Anybody? Comment down below if you get the reference. So they're all going to laugh at you. And you like him, Mama. He's a nice boy. Stay there. I don't want you popping off. Yeah, I like the green. It gives it a little... As the French say, something extra. Can y'all tell I'm in a mood today? I am in a mood! I need my car fixed. I don't have any money to get my car fixed. I spent all my money taking my dog's, my sister's dog to the vet. I made a lasagna today. And a pie. And I still need to go can sweet potatoes. 
Are you holding on? Good. Because that's literally the only option. I love adding ornaments to wreaths. I think they just like, you know, it's ornaments are cheap. Um, and you can always find, I don't really like this next to his head, but can we just, okay, that's better. You can always find these at Goodwill. I mean, if you have a Goodwill that would like this ornament, this single ornament at Goodwill would be $14.99. But if you have a Goodwill where the people aren't actively insane, um, with their pricing guns, then you can always find these like super cheap. It doesn't matter if they're a little dinged up because you can always glue the bad spot against the wreath. Like this ornament right here with all this glitter, sixteen eighty eight at least. I was in there the other day and I found if you're if you've been watching the channel for a long time, way way back when I used to like making vid I don't even know if I have a like making videos. Um, I did a it was an Easter Easter project where it was a one of those silver Dollar Tree um, platters. That I chalk painted and crackle painted and put like a it was like a bunny cameo thing, and I donated it the last time I brought a bunch of crap to Goodwill, and it was in there and they had it marked like at um a dollar ninety nine and I was like hmm that took like thirty minutes to make and the tray by itself was a dollar but then they also had the exact same tray, the one that they used to sell at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen that tray at Dollar Tree in forever, so I don't know if they still sell it there. Exact same tray. Also a dollar ninety nine without any extra stuff on it. I was like, okay, dollar, okay, I, I guess screw my drag, right? Screw my and see this one. I want this one to stick out some. Well, I did until I started to try to pull this off. Can I just can I just pop this off? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I want this one to stick out some. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but oh god, this is why I need my glue pot, y'all. Who told me not to get the glue pot? Good God. I'm just going to put some glue on top and then uh, we see, I can't see my tripods in the way. And I'm just going to slide that on like that so it'll stick out a little bit beyond the bow, which needs m some major fluffage. And I think I'm going to do that again over. Now there's one right there. Okay, well, that'll, that one will just go back in the. Well, it'll probably just end up on the floor and a dog will play with it. So, that was 37 minutes that I'm never going to get back. But yeah, I think that's a pretty, pretty, let me. All right, there we go. That's cute, I guess. Oh, I guess if, I, if I'm going to fluff the bottom, though, I need to. Also do the top though, huh? Let's just kind of get that so it doesn't look like non-cats have been sucking on it. But yeah, if you find one of these Santas, because of course they have they have Hawaiian Santas, they have a, they have a whole it's a mess. Okay, listen, everything is a mess. Um, but they usually always have these after Christmas. Don't pay twenty dollars. Don't do not pay twenty dollars for that thing with the Chucky body. All right, he's not worth it. Okay, no man is worth that. No man is worth twenty dollars. Um, but if you get them after Christmas. Even at ten dollars, I mean, I still wouldn't pay ten dollars for that. I'm surprised I pay five dollars for it. But yeah, so that is like a big statement wreath. It was super quick. If you get it on clearance, I mean, there's probably the wreath was three, he was five. That's eight. A couple of bucks of deco mesh, a couple of ribbons, a couple of ornaments that you got from Goodwill for fourteen ninety nine each. That's really going to eat into your profits. But yeah, I think this is a um, you know, it's it's like it's a nice statement for not a um. I really need to find my pliers. Not a, a huge investment. Oh. Sorry, I don't feel like putting these away, so they're just gonna. Oh no, it's two reds right next to each other. I don't care. Um oh man, there's two more. Okay. Can you just go there and then this one will Let me just finish this wreath, y'all. What the hell? Maybe not. These are my new scissors I just bought for gift wrapping. So, okay, well. I had to do some work on my car, and now I can't find any tools. 
you know, you wraith making tools that you use to fix your car. Oh, y'all want to do that? Must be nice. Must be nice to not have to do that. Okay, I'm going to get some pictures of this hanging up so you can actually see it because I know this. Uh, Oh, there he is. There you go. He's cute. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably not going to list this on Etsy because that is a total waste of my time, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.